Yo, what is up guys, it's Fierce 50 here, and today the gameplay I'm going to be bringing you guys is World's Most Kills Solo on Xbox, and I was playing Multi-Team Hardpoint on the map Hijack, sorry, and sorry that's Hijack, because the past like, few weeks I've been uploading a lot of Hijack lately, pretty much most of my videos were Hijacked, and I think I only have like 2 or 3 more Hijack gameplays, and I'm, I'm going to try not to upload those for a while, maybe I'll upload them like uh, in a few weeks from now. I'll uh, just try to upload other maps from now because it's just nice to have variety and I have like a few carrier gameplays, I got a few cargo gameplays. Just try, just gonna try to bring a lot of variety of my gameplays. And just so you know, I'm not saying this is the most kills solo in general. It's the most I'm saying it's the most kills on Xbox in playing solo. And I'm just saying this because PS3 is easier in my opinion. You guys might have different opinions, but if you search on YouTube Solo 200 on, on YouTube um, for Black Ops 2, all you're going to see is PS3 gameplays. Because there have only been four Solo 200s on Xbox, and I have three of them. My friend Toxic Fresh Kid has one, and I think he actually quit YouTube, so that kind of sucks. And previous record was 206 kills by me, and just before that was like 204 by Toxic and then just like a few weeks ago I got the, got the 206 and then I got the 205 and now I got this I actually got this like three weeks ago I think but I just didn't get really time to like record it because I wasn't recording live sadly and so I had to record it off of theater and it was also kind of clutch too because I noticed when there's like two minutes left um my teammates were sitting on the hard point lot and we're at like 210 points and that means we only need 40 more points to win and there's like two minutes left so i just try to get as much kills as possible and i was on a three bar two so i guess that makes it more impressive my commentary topic for today is just tips for hijack because um i was looking at the comments on my video yesterday and i saw someone commented um you should give us some tips for this map I think he said and he, he said something about giving tips so I thought of doing tips for this map because it's probably my best map and considering I got like three 200s on it already okay for, I'm, by the way I'm gonna explain this for like mostly hard point just cuz domination it's kinda really easy to play it and most other game modes is kinda easy and anyways for the first hard point what I like to do is um go in the hut and if you don't know what the hut is, it's just on the opposite side of the pool is in the middle. Just that like room kind of. I don't know how to explain it really. And I just like to go there when I'm farming the hard point and I just go to cap it and then I go in there to hide and just look keep constantly rotating on both sides and looking where they're coming from. And then when they get on it, I just kill them from there because it's really easy place to kill them from the hard point from there and I just try to get my view set from there as quickly as possible and then I just like to go in this for the second hard point I just like to go in that room where the like ladder is to the underground area it's just on the side of that second hard point and if I, I just try, try to make sure they come from the front side like this where the stairs are and if there's too many coming from the back spawn I just usually like to go upstairs or just like flank around from the back side and for the underground hard point, this one's kind of tough because it's really hard to farm it. Usually I just farm it once. What I like to do is cap it if no one's on it and then I just get off of it. I just climb the ladder back up and when someone, I just like try to hide in a room beside the ladders. And once someone goes in it, um, then I go back in it and if you're playing a full team, try to make sure you get your whole team to get control of it, or at least like two guys maybe, because it's really hard to get full control of it since there's two ways to come in, and it's really easy to contest the hard point because it's just such an open hard point, or not open hard point, it's a really huge hard point. And try to make sure you have streaks before you get it too, because since there's two ways to get in and there's like so many like corners in it, it, you want you probably want to be set when you go in there and that's kind of what helped me in this because I'm pretty sure every time I went underground I had a V set up so that helped me out a lot and 
You want you? By the way, the dogs can't go underground, obviously, cause they can't climb a ladder. They'd just be fucking weird if they did, cause they don't in real life. And and for the kitchen hard point, what I like to do is just farm on the stairs. I just cap in, then go upstairs and just rotate around both sides, check where they're coming from. And by the way, um, since there's a ladder upstairs, if you know someone's coming on the ladder, I just like to head glitch on the like desk in like the middle room upstairs. And they'll help you out a bit just in case you get flanked or they're coming from like the stairs and the ladder or something. And if you can, head glitch on the like giant window open area where you can see the back spawn. And just like try to spawn trap them back in there because it's a really good spot. And also, when you're trying to like spawn kill them or spawn trap them on this map, um, you'll notice like on basically every side of the map. Uh, there's like these circle barrel like things. I don't know how to re explain them really, but they're just like barrel shaped objects. And just try to head glitch on those when you're just like trying to kill them on the side spawns or the back spawns. And if you can, maybe run a guardian and put them on the side spawns. That'll help out a bit. And you could just spawn kill them easily on the back spawns. And oh yeah, also when you have streaks up, I really recommend to. I'm um, going inside the buildings just cause the swarm you don't want to get killed by it and die off a set, another set of swarm and dogs because of that and make sure you're running VSAT dogs and swarm those are the best streaks I'll find like escort drone or like loads or VTOL really effective on those on this map just cause usually it's really easy to get in the building since the spawns are like right in, inside the building right beside it and that just gives them enough time to run to cover before they even get killed by a kill streak or whatever and also the best guns to use would probably have to be a submachine gun like a msmc or mp7 just because it's a smaller map and don't even really like use a, like an an94 or anything because i remember in that 198 i uploaded yesterday um pretty sure i died off of streaks because i went in the underground area with the an94 and that was a really stupid move because i got killed by a guy with a submachine gun and that cost me the 200 plus and plus I had like 11 deaths I game and ever since I started running a sub on hijacked I just been doing a lot better and you gonna have more fun time using a sub on it and plus in the underground area it, like it's just so hard to use like an AR or anything other than a sub underground so the best guns to use in hijack would probably have to be a vector MSMC or MP7 and that's basically all I have to talk about today, and it would be awesome if you guys could like the video, possibly even favorite it, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, because I respond to every tweet, and that's where I'm always on. And anyways, peace out.